So video demonstration of Denton Vacuum DB502A. Uh, I just want to point out that this uh, system has been upgraded with the variant VHS4 high speed diffusion pump. So right now I'm under, I've uh, manually pumped it out. We have a this turns on your mechanical pump, I'll show you that, that's in the back. And this turns on your diffusion pump. At this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do an auto vent. I just want to point out, to take a walk around the back here. There is a line back here for the vent. You can uh, attach that to a nice thin uh, cylinder. Right now it's just opened up the air. Uh, while we're back here, I'll explain some of the utilities we got going on here. We have uh, water coming in from a, a chiller, and it's teed off. So you have two ins and two outs. One of the ins is for the diffusion pump. I don't know if you can see it inside, but it's a uh, there's your variant diffusion pump. So two of the lines go into the diffusion pump, the other two will come down here and they, they, they'll pull the posts up on top. There's a little uh, radiant uh, cooling. We have our vacuum pump attached here. This pump requires 208 single phase. There is an outlet in the back here to plug in. Inside. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but it, it, it's very back in here. Uh, when I ship it, I'll, I'll just disconnect the wire and, and bundle it up in here. Ship the pump separately. We take the oil out of the pump, make sure you fill the pump with oil before using it. Put a tag on it to uh, remind it. And then our power cord is coming in here too. Oh, and finally, we do have air. I have about uh, 40, 40 to 60 PSI of air coming in uh, down here. Okay, we should be at atmosphere now. You can see our gauge is in the atmosphere. We do have a protective cover here. I'll take that off. I'll draw off. Now we set up two uh, filaments here, boats, on either side of the post here. Each one has an independent transformer and you can switch it by using your left or right right now. You set up to uh, operate on the uh, left side here or you can switch it to the right. We'll go ahead and demonstrate that later. So at this point you'll go ahead and load up your uh, material on either boat. And uh, as it works, go ahead and close up the bell jar. At this point, I'll just switch it over to uh, auto pump mode. You see the roughing valve turns on. We're going to watch our chamber. Once it hits 200 millitor, it'll cross over and open up the uh, backing and high back valve. back in a little bit. Okay, we're getting pretty close to the crossover. It's set at 200 millicores. Once it hits that, you'll see that the roughing valve will close. The backing and high back valve will close. High back gauge will turn on. We'll come back in a little bit. We'll let it pump down for a while. And we'll see. Uh, should normally reach around uh, two to three times ten in a month. All 
All right, as you can see, we're down in the uh, pretty close to uh, where are we at on that? About three times ten to the minus six. If you get any lower, you can add liquid nitrogen. To, uh, there's a port here. You'll have to attach a funnel and go ahead and add the liquid nitrogen. In. All right, so what I'll do is I'm just going to light up each one of the filaments individually and uh, just show you that they are operational. So I'm on the left here now, so I'll go ahead and turn the filament low power on. Now I'm going to increase the current. You can see it from this side, but I'm going to slowly increase it. Now you can see it's green around 100. About now a little bit. You can see that our, uh, the boat is lighting up. Up. We're about at 100 now. Increase some more. You see how it's quite bright. About 150 amps right now. At about 60% power. Down. And what I'll do is I'm going to flip it over to the right side now, and I'll do the same. Okay, that's about 100 amps right there. Sixty percent. About one hundred and seventy amps. 